Alright guys, so what's up? Not much, working on the car. Um, today, we got our good old trusty turbo manifold. We're going to install that on the car today. Um, so far, the only thing I've done since last video was, what did I do? Uh, I got the oil pan welded. I put that on here. Uh, made the return line for the turbo and made the feed line for the turbo. And then he wrapped everything that was kind of in the area because I knew once I installed this bad boy, um, I wasn't going to be able to do any of that. So I kind of got that stuff out of the way just because that's kind of like a small kind of video. Just putting on an oil pan that's kind of boring and making a drain that's kind of boring too. But I know this is not the boring video of putting on this manifold. We went with the twins. Pretty sure I showed you guys already. Um, the manifold has not seen a car yet. So we are going to hope that it fits. <laughs> if not, we'll just cut something off and re-weld it and do it again. So that's kind of the beauty of this. So we'll see if it fits. I'm more worried about wastegate position and turbo clocking position. That's kind of the only thing I was really worried about when making this. But everything else should fit pretty good. So, alright guys, let's go ahead and put this on. I guess I can show you guys uh, the first stuff. I guess what I've done so far. But Alright, we'll throw on this one too. Alright. All right, guys, so this is our feed line. Remember, we went with 12 AN, kind of good size. Um, this is our feed line, runs all the way in the back. And then our feed line. So that's our feed line coming in. And this will feed our turbo with oil. So got that stuff in, heat wrapped everything, because I know the turbo sits like kind of right in this area. I knew all this stuff would get hot. So, uh, all this stuff is heat wrapped, and then I guess we'll go ahead and throw this manifold on. Let's see how everything fits. Alright guys, so next thing is dual voice gates. Um, big question is, are these going to fit? Um, that was kind of my big thing when I was designing this was are these going to fit and where am I going to run the piping? But I figured I'll figure that out when I get it in the car, right? So, alright, let's go ahead and throw these wastegates on and then see the real problem is what are we going to do for an exhaust? Because that's been the kind of question I've been worrying about because I wasn't sure if I had room to run everything, which now we're going to see if there is room to run everything. So, alright, let's go ahead and throw these wastegates on. Alright, so this bottom wastegate seems to be the problem. Um, we literally have a just fit situation. Okay, like, I'm going to be honest with you guys, there's probably not even a finger gap between the wastegate and the shifter cable. So that's what you call perfect fitment right there. So the wastegate does fit. Um, that was kind of my big worry. But it does barely fit, but it does fit. So now next problem we have, the top one's going to fit. That's, that's not a problem. But the bottom one is a problem. So... Our next problem is, is where are we going to run this, like, wastegate? Like, where are we going to pipe it out? Because that was kind of my, oh, we're not focused. Ooh, can you focus? There you go. Okay, yeah, so the problem with our wastegate piping now is, is where the beep, beep, beep are we going to run it? Because I initially thought I could just come out of the wastegate, take a 90, and come straight up to the hood. Um... Problem is, I think this is too tight for a 90 to come straight out of here. So, where are we going to route it? So, we could like spin it around, because I can't run it this way because the turbo sits right there. And we could run it back here, but the only problem with back here is, where's the space? Because between this red bar and this, uh, what is it, the rear shock mount is like, two fingers so I might could route it back down there somewhere if I did some crazy routing but I don't know I mean like let's see, yeah, see back down there let's get some light yeah see there's literally no room back here so another question is how do guys with down pipes on EPs where do you put them like if you're running a sidewinder manifold like where do you run the downpipe at so that's kind of our next question is where are we going to run the wastegate piping because i figured 
with the turbo, I could come out of the turbo, loop back through here, and then just come straight out the hood. That's not a problem. Um, same thing with this wastegate. This can just shoot out the hood. But with this wastegate, where are we going to go? Because I initially thought I could come up here, but I don't know if that's going to work. And then, hmm, I mean, I could take the exhaust out of the fender. That's another option. We could do that. Um, that is plausible, but uh, I don't know. I guess we'll go ahead and mock turbo on, get the rest of the stuff on, and let's see where we can go with the wastegate piping once we get the turbo on. All right, guys. All right, so wastegates are on. Not bad. This right here, easy weld job. Tack that on. That'll come out the hood. That that that's that's not the problem, child. That's that's easy. The next problem is this one down here. Where are we gonna go? I had this little piece of mock-up pipe, which just is a 90, and it goes straight down. But uh, this doesn't look like it is fitting either. So hang on, I might go under the car real quick. And we're under the car. So. As you guys can see, this is the wastegate pipe right here. Um, only problem with this problem is it runs directly straight at my frame and straight at my motor mount. And I don't want to melt my motor mount because that's not my plan. So this could work. I mean, like maybe if I put another like 90 on it or something and came kind of down this way through here, um, I might could get it out that way. That's a possibility, but I guess we'll see what other other options are. So. I really want everything to come out of the hood. I mean, like, I, I this is kind of worst case scenario. I'll run it this way, but I really want everything to come out of the hood. I mean, this thing's gonna be a race car. You know, I don't want to run one wastegate out of the hood and have the other one pointing down at the ground. I'm trying to shoot all the flames out the hood. So let's see what we can do. All right, guys. So option number two. Also, I just, actually just playing around with the piping and look about this. What do you guys think about this? So we'd have hood exit for the exhaust. We'd have another hood exit for the other wastegate. But then the other wastegate comes out and then goes out the fender. So then we'd have like fender exit wastegate. And surprisingly, this fits pretty good up in here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but let me get some light. Yeah. You can't tell me that doesn't fit like just perfect. Like it just, it's like already notched out around it just to come right out of the fender. Um, so we could have fender exit um, wastegate. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys think we should shoot it at the bottom or shoot it out of the fender. Cause I mean, I'm gonna tell you right now, I can get this to fit. Cause this can come right through here, take out all this stuff right here and just come straight out of the fender. That would work. So we could come out of the fender. Um, I just don't know how you guys feel about fender exit stuff. Um, so we have that option or what we could do as I was also looking at this, is if we just kind of route it out here, and I think I have enough room if I came out and then I just went straight up here again. It'd be a lot of tubing for a wastegate, but if I kind of came, swooped, and then came straight out the hood, so everything would be out of the hood. Um, right, so I guess that'll be option three. Option three is come out, swoop, and then come straight out of the hood. Option two, we can squirt back, shoot out of the fender. Or option three, dump it on the ground. I mean, option one, dump it on the ground. I really don't want to dump it on the ground, but those three options are kind of our thing right now. So let me, let me know what you guys think about wastegate piping. Um, I'll probably mock something up or try to figure something out. And eh, not sure yet, but we'll see. So manifolds on, it just barely fits, which that's good. But our next problem is wastegate piping. I mean, at least I know I can do something with it. I was kind of worried about where I'd run it, but now I at least have three options of what to do. So we do have some wastegate piping. This this is easy. That's that's not a problem. And but now this is our problem child down here. So yeah, let me know what you guys think or what we should do on the wastegate thing.